There's facts here that I want to share based on the fact that I do feel like I've been poisoned and I do feel like looking back at my metal, medical history is just insanity to think that the um, reasons I'm going in for weren't discovered as what they are, as what I'm, I've been bringing out here as far as being poisoned goes because I've been put into an an unbelievable situation but many of these poisons and chemicals can interact dangerously when prescribed medications for an example poisons like cyanide or the heavy metals such as arsenic or mercury can dis disrupt how the body processes other drugs these are just talking about interactions where if you are being poisoned up and it's not being found out about well arsenic causes cardiovascular disease causes diabetes causes muscle weakness causes numb numbness causes a feeling of suffocating or suffocation because your cells down to the cellular level are actually suffocating and so I believe that me bringing about those very issues um, and they're not being the toxicology enough to discover those things or even think along those lines just tells me that I've been being misdiagnosed and mistreated and then if a doctor is prescribing those medicines um, for diabetes or mental health or or uh, cardiovascular effects those medications could actually worsen your condition and if they react with undetected toxins in your body they can cause certain medicines to intensify the toxicity and then causing further harm which I believe in the case of myself being given much of anything because I was like to the point where if I was if I was to continue taking this medication that they wanted me to take I don't think I'd be here so I believe wholeheartedly like I feel like I feel like an undesirable in the world and because I feel like I'm an undesirable they're just trying to remove me and they are you know the same they that you know Avicii, Chester Bennington, Michael Jackson and many others that people know about would have been being killed but not to mention just those just those famous people uh, this happens to people in general like people are just legit legit not treated right by not only the medical professionals but by the police and then it's police brutality or it's police just ignoring your plight regardless of what it what it is and uh, if I can land if I can if I can like assault a Christmas tree based on things that happen to me um, and I end up going through the mill because of it but yet this person can plot to premeditated murder me and that can just be ignored and seen as a mental health issue I don't I don't agree Okay, I don't agree. I don't. I don't agree that these, the oncologists' teams of professionals, as far as healthcare is concerned, are exchanging information enough to protect people. And then on top of it, I don't think that they're trying. And like, I think that there's people working on sides where they're showing two faces. And so people can think whatever they want, but if that toxic exposure isn't identified, symptoms that are caused by poisoning or potential poisoning might be mistaken for other medical conditions, and then they can uh, mimic the symptoms of mental illness, confusion, hallucinations, all those other ailments on top of the weakness and fatigue that can occur. And so as a result, the the doctors might prescribe medicines that are to treat what they believe is a mental health condition or what they believe is diabetes 
while missing the real underlying cause, and this could lead to worsening health symptoms because the poison in your body continues to affect your system while the prescribed medications don't address the root cause, and altogether it just makes things much, much worse for the individual. And so, like a correct diagnosis, poisoning often requires specific treatments such as administration of antidotes, chelation therapy for heavy metals, or other interventions that can remove the remove or neutralize those toxins in the, in the body and if poison is not identified the patient might not receive appropriate treatment in time allowing the allowing the poison to continue to harm and then lead that person to death and then it's just if you ask me it's a covert poisoning then and if doctors are unaware of that history of the person being misdiagnosed in that way then mental illness is the mental illness is, got, is sought after instead of the poisoning, and then the necessary life-saving treatments would be delayed if, if ever even found or allowed to find and then and, and given. So there's, it can be it can be negligent, I believe, even on the side of people that do serve two masters. And who, um, who would otherwise try to harm you further with their actions if they're gone undetected, and things like this have happened in the world. And so, I mean, I've looked it up, and it's ha it happens quite often from my findings. And so, the metabolic overload with poisons, especially long term in the body to, um, you know, long-term to low doses can affect the liver and kidneys and other organs responsible for me metabolizing drugs and toxins. And if these organs are already being compromised due to the poisoning, taking additional medications just overloads them and it leads to more severe organ damage or organ failure even for instances of cases I've found. And then, if you're taking medication for diabetes, it could strain the kid kidneys or liver, which is crucial in processing medications. If those organs are already damaged by the toxins, the medication is just going to exacerbate the situation. So it's important to find those medical professionals who do specialize, specialize in that toxicology, and I believe it's essential for our bodies to find oncologists that are working with holistics and ayurvedics over allopathic care because science is like saying saying we have the answer we have the antidote for that and and or we have the new medication that's going to help you with whatever and then if they're throwing those medications at you versus being able to be involved in finding out like a, an actual uh, ability of crime being taken place as far as like your actual health when you're when say a friend of that long is poisoning you up with intent to steal your life away from you well I believe that wholeheartedly people have right to, to discovery and it's important so that's all I really wanted to say here is that the complications I feel I've experienced on top of what's already there is just has not ever helped me and I just feel wholeheartedly that if you're looking at my history of things that I'm going into the doctors for uh, gosh it really it really bothers me that's all I can say it really really bothers me that the two and two can't be put together there because of like years man years me trying to discover this stuff and like I'm going in there like serious like and I'm just not being taken seriously I guess or maybe I'm not being maybe it's not being diagnosed because I don't know exactly the words to say at the time but with me going in with the reasons that I have and it being having to do with my heart or my breathing or just not feeling like like I think I've even said like I just don't 
I don't feel like myself. Like, I feel like I'm at times, like, slipping out of myself kind of type thing, and I don't know what's happening to me. And it's hard to describe because you just feel like you just feel like you can't breathe. You feel like you can't get a full breath of air, and it just feels like it's all, all over your whole body, and you don't know how to explain it. And um, I don't know. I just think with what I've said is enough to discover arsenic poisoning. So I'm just going to leave you with that, and just be leery about who you're spending your time with because. I had no idea that this man could turn out to be the way he is. I mean, if there's cheating and an affair going on, just go the fuck away. But I don't think that that was the goal. I think the goal was wholeheartedly to, like, and en like enjoy it. I don't know how you would say that, but it's a sexual deviancy of their own to enjoy that kind of maliciousness in their in their uh, sexual life or whatever it has nothing to do with the person which I've been warned of before that it had everything to do with me and I'm like what do you mean that doesn't even make sense maybe I just couldn't make sense of it at the time but I'm making sense of it now and it's just scary so I'm not okay. I don't think I'll ever be okay. But I don't want to be put on any medications. I just I just want help to be able to work my heart's work and to just be alone with the Lord and hopefully find a wife and live out the rest of the you know, tw 12 minutes to midnight or whatever. Maybe having a tea and soaking up the joys in life that we can find together but my life just feels very unnatural coming to find out this stuff after this many years of abuse and I'm just wholeheartedly sad that no one else was helping me to discover that other than me and it got really really scary like you can imagine your world going white around the sides of everything you see like kind of closing in on you and you just feel so suffocated inside and then you're just like the thought process is like is this happening to me is something happening to me and like you really think it is because you don't just have those feelings for nothing I think that reason ties itself in with itself when you're when you're connected to the Lord in the first place and it's like the Lord letting you know what's going on. And maybe you just don't want it. You know, like you just don't... You don't want it so bad that you're denying your Father in Heaven from telling you, telling you something in your tummy. And it's like, oh, it just hits you so bad. You know, like if something hits you that way, I'm sure you all know the feeling. But with this one, it's just way, way, way worse. Because I was in a covert fucking war for years that people didn't even believe me in that I was in and so I know what the truth is I know what the truth is and I'm not I'm not gonna stop until these people get fucking the justice that they deserve like how can they do this to a person in general you know how could they even reason through their heads that they could just even be in fake fake a friendship, fake a love life, fake any any of that, like, how much does it cost, like, I don't understand it, like, how much did people get paid, you know, that's the kind of thing I think of, because I, and who knows, maybe it is just they're that sick, but I wholeheartedly don't believe that they're just that sick, sick on their own, I believe that their sickness is created by, you know, Getting invited into something sick, I guess, working in that way, or like, I don't know, you know, being paid to be a narcissist, basically, by, you know, eradicating purposes, like, I don't know, 
I just wholeheartedly don't agree with what's going on out here in the world.